Skylum just announced a full list of updates and new features for their exciting big fall update. Now, while we still don't have a date on when will this update arrive, in today's video, first I'm gonna go through the full list of all the new features and updates. And after that, we will move into the application where I will show you some of the most exciting stuff. Starting from the beginning, let's look at the list of the new updates and features that will be included in this just announced Luminar Neo Big Fall update. Looking at the list, you can see that it's divided into two categories where the first part is focusing on the free features that will be available for all the users. And then the second category, the paid features, which will be available for subscribers and upgrade pass owners. Going back to the top, let's start by looking at the number of catalog improvements. First, you will notice improved display of the file name extension in the EXIF information panel. And you will also see the arrival of the star rating system to give us a better chance for photo rating, filtering and selecting. You will also see a new, more structured view called detailed view, which will display file name, rating, favorite and reject flag all at the same time. On the top of it, the catalog module will have a new sort folders and album feature. This will allow us to sort folders and albums by different attributes. This organization possibility will make the management of the large photo collections much easier and it will allow us to access specific albums or folders much faster. The talk about the catalog improvements bring us nicely to the next item on the list, which is the filtering catalog. This new feature will allow us to filter the catalog using number of different parameters from metadata and image attributes. We will be able to filter the images by the camera model, focal length, ISO, shutter speed, aperture, rating and so much more. By getting even more filtering options, we will be able to narrow down our search and find specific images based on the detailed criteria. Now I am really excited about the item number three on our list. And that will give us the possibility of creating a virtual copy. Just like many photographers out there, I'm someone who like to experiment with my edits and the possibility of creating multiple copies and then applying different edits to them will then allow me easily compare them between each other and see which one I like the best. And all of this without the need of duplicating the original file. Talking about exciting improvements, the next one, the film strip, is definitely one of them. Yes, with the big Luminar Neo Autumn update, we will have access to the film strip in both edit and presets module. With that, we will be able to switch quickly between different images without the need of exiting into the catalog module. Of course, that by being able to do that, we will be able to continue focusing on the image editing and even furthermore, we will be able to quickly synchronize different edits between different images. Moving into the paid features category, let's go back to the catalog module. There you will now be able to use the new smart search. Using the machine learning based search, you will be able to search not only by attributes like file name, date and extension, but also by content in the image. For example, objects, scenes and other items. You will be, for example, able to look for tree, stop sign, car, subway, two smiling boys, people and so on. Now, I think that this will again improve even further the possibility to navigate through large photographic catalogs and make the whole navigating in the application much easier and faster. For the final two items on our new feature list, we need to go into the editing module. 
there we will be able to see the color masking and color transfer tools. Starting with the color masking as a part of the masking tools in Luminar Neo, this new feature will allow you to create a mask based on a selected color in the image. On top of it, you will be able to adjust the color range using a simple slider that will give you a precise control over which areas of the image are selected. And finally, looking at the real new tool arriving with this Luminar Neo Big Fall update, let's talk about the Color Transfer AI. In fact, I was actually able to beta test this tool for Skylum and I have to say that I absolutely love it. Well, what it does, it basically allows you to select a reference image and then transfer its colors to the actual photo. So if you have favorite movie, favorite photographer or favorite look, you will now be able to import the image, use it as a reference and use that specific colors on your own photos. On top of it, you will be able to adjust the result with the use of few sliders and to make the tool even more advanced, there is an option called AI Transferred Feature. With the use of that, you will not only match the colors, but you will also match the colors between the similar objects. For example, person to person, sky to sky or transport to transport. Moving to the Luminar Neos membership and purchase options. Starting from the top, if you are Luminar Neo subscriber, then you don't have to worry about anything. All of these new features and tools, when they arrive with the update, will be automatically added into your application. After that, if you do not own Luminar Neo, there will be an early bird offer starting on the 15th of August available for 10 days and with that you will be able to get a Luminar Neo for just $139 if you're looking for the lifetime license or you will be able to subscribe to Luminar Neo for just $79 a year instead of the normal $99. Now on top of it, if you will follow the link in the description of this video and use our discount code CPNEO10, you can take these prices and remove another 10% from them. After that, if you are current user and you own the lifetime license of Luminar Neo, and to add to it, if you have purchased it before the 1st of July 2024, you have two options. You can switch to the subscription and get a special price or you can buy the update pass for 2024 and 2025 and receive all the updates over the next two years. Now to see your exact options, use the link in the description of this video, which will bring you to the Skyland website. You will log in with your account and that will give you the exact offer for either the subscription or for the update pass. And one more time, if you're going to purchase either one of them, don't forget to use the discount code CPNEO10 to get even better price. And to finish the list, let's look at even more Luminar Neo news. I'm happy to announce that we have just released our brand new Luminar Neo Landscape Preset Bundle. This incredible bundle has already been one of our best-selling product in 2024 and it offers over 120 incredible landscape presets. If you want to get this bundle for the best possible price, use the link in the description of this video or find out more about them by visiting our website cleverphotographer.com. Okay, so moving into Luminar Neo, where we're going to look at the main features and updates. Starting here in the catalog module, first let's have a look at the detailed view. As you can see at the grid, now we are looking at the detailed view, which can be switched on and off. When it's on, the detailed view will show you the name of the file, file format, star rating and more. Talking about the star rating, you have an option between one and five stars and you can simply add and remove stars using the shortcuts one to five on your keyboard. You can also adjust the stars using the action panel or you can simply right click on the image and adjust the stars using the menu 
panel. The next improvement is bringing the new filtering options. You can now filter based on the camera, focal length, ISO, aperture, shutter speed, and more. So for example, you can select one or two cameras as your filter. And on the top of it, you can, for example, choose ISO 800 as one of your filtering aspects. If you're not happy with the selection, you can always reset the filters and start from the beginning. Talking about further updates here in the catalog module, you can now reorganize and sort your folders. You can sort them based on their folder name, creation date, how recently they were updated, photo count, and more. On top of it, of course, that you can choose the custom order and then just reposition the folders based on your needs. Now, since we're still here in the catalog module, let's look at the new smart search. This new feature allows you to search based on the content in the image. You can search by objects, scenes, and others. Now, in this example, let's try to search for mountains. Or we can be a little bit more specific, like lamps. Or maybe wedding dresses. And my favorite thing, let's search for birds. And once we find all of them, we can then easily move them into the new birds album. Now moving to the other features, let's talk about the virtual copy. You can easily create virtual copy with the use of the menu, shortcut or more button. Once you create the virtual copy, it will retain all the edits from the original image. You can identify the virtual copy using this icon, which will also indicate the number of the virtual copy. Since we already here in the editing panel, don't forget that we now have the film strip available in both presets and editing panel, which now allows us to move between the photos from here and also quickly synchronize the edits between the specific photos. Moving on, it's time to look at the color masking feature, which is available in the masking tab. Once you open the masking tab, simply select the color. And once you do that, you will get the color picker. Now you can click on the image and select the color that you want to use for your mask. Once you're done with that, you can use the range slider to adjust the amount of the color and the amount of the mask selected in your image. And finally, let's talk about the color transfer AI tool. This tool allows you to color match your image with any other reference images. Now to use it, open the tool, click on the reference selection and select one of the sample files here. Wait for the system to color match the image and once ready, use any of the sliders to adjust the overall look. Of course that you can use any other image other than the sample files. To do that, Open the tool again, again click on the reference selection and this time click on the plus sign. In the new window, select the image and again wait for the application to color match the image. Once it's finished, let's adjust the amount, some of the smoothing and really fine tune the result. And finally, let's try the object color mapping AI, which allows you to color match different objects in your photo. It works very well with objects like sky, water, people, and so on. And that's the end of today's video. If you have any question about Luminar Neo or photography in overall, then write it into the comment section under this video. If you enjoyed it, then like and share it. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our future content. For today, my name is Jacob Bors and I already can't wait to see you in our future videos.